Well, good morning, friends. I am just cleaning up my kitchen. So as part of my cleaning routine, um, I like to spritz down my uh, cabinetry and give it a good clean down. And it's something I kind of do just every week, and it helps keep all of the spills and things at bay. I am using this uh, 2AM Miracle uh, spray. This is a really natural um, spray. Whenever this is done, though, I am going to probably switch to more of a Castile soap because um, I'm not really sure where to get this. A friend of mine gave it to me as a gift. So that's what I am doing this morning. I'm working on cleaning my kitchen. So here's a quick little kitchen tip for you. Um, when you have something liquid to throw away, whether it's like oil or grease or... Um, just soup, I don't know, anything liquid, um, ball up a piece of tin foil into kind of like a well, just shape it. I've used this to line my pan when I baked my chicken, and I've got my tomato junk that needs thrown out because this is like liquid tomatoes, and you just pour it in there, and then you can close this little packet up and toss it into the garbage. And then this won't kind of leak into your garbage or, I don't know, whatever. So I picked up a bunch of these boxes of the Annie's 80% um, organic mac and cheese uh, at Dollar Tree. So my Canadian Dollar Tree, everything's $1.25. And they had lots and lots and lots of stock of these. So I bought about 10 boxes, some just to kind of have on hand for now and then to just put away... Um, for the future, like, you know, for whenever. <laughs> for days like this when I'm not feeling well and my mind is not coming together and I have no umption or gumption to put together dinner. So anyways, if you have a Dollar Tree near you, maybe check in uh, their food aisles and see if they have any of, any of these. So the kitchen is all cleaned up. I'm just charging my iPad there, so that's why I have my warmer off. And I'm going to go get my kiddos ready for bed. So I don't feel like doing laundry tonight, so I am going to um, set my washing machine to go off in the morning. So I'm going to set the timer. So I've got it set to normal. I'm going to do delay wash. And then it is almost 7.30 right now, so I want it to go... About 11 hours yeah um, and then warm cold yeah that's all good so then this will just set and go off I don't know what time so I am here in my living room and this is my YouTube slash one day when I have a blog um, <laughs> planning calendar this is an Erin Condren notebook it's one of the really large size ones the eight and a half by eleven love it i wish they had planners in this size if they had planners in this side size i would be so happy um anyways i've got some collabs coming up and some tag videos that i was tagged in so i was spending some time today kind of writing down some answers to the questions from the tags um and putting things on my calendar and getting ready for filming those videos hopefully tomorrow i'll actually be able to do some filming and then, um, I have enrolled in a program called Grocery Budget Boot Camp. Um, it's a program that you have to pay for, and um, I had a little extra spending money, so I put it towards this uh, boot camp, um, and I'm so excited about it. It's an eight-week course, and there's lots of different modules and things. Um, she opens up like a new lesson each Monday, so we're only on the first week. And so I printed the lessons and I need to go through and kind of just fill out some of the answers to some of the homework. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it because uh, this is from Tiffany Crumbs. Her blog is called don'twastethecrumbs.com and she's wonderful. Um, she, does, she does real food, uh, so no processed packaged kind of food. Um, and her grocery budget for her family is $350 a month. Um, and so she has used that budget like all over the country, like they've moved a few times. 
And anyway, she put it into a course and the course has super duper rave reviews about it. When it comes available again, I'll probably do a video sharing my experience and the links and stuff like that for this. Um, but I'm just one week in and already I'm really enjoying it. So part of the homework this week is to figure out what real food looks like. Um, because what she does is this program is not... Uh, she doesn't tell you what to eat, which is so awesome because she said if your grocery budget consists of soda and chips and um, box macaroni and cheese, this program will work for you. If your um, diet consists of organic, pastured meats and dairy and foods and things like that, um, and this program will work for you as well. So she gives you a system and not so much what to eat, but it is designed uh, to be like her whole blog and stuff is real food. So anyway, some of the questions, I, I kind of scanned through them, but um, you, we're just starting to kind of figure out like what real food looks like to us. And so, I so it is Friday morning and I am putting my laundry away. I'm sitting on my bed and that is how close it is. I've got all this laundry here. I've got another bag over there and that is our laundry basket. It's full because it's mostly our sheets that are in there and I need to wash this today because Friday is cleaning the bedroom day. I've got my bed all folded. Pajamas out for tonight. My coat I need to put away. That red thing hanging out of my closet thingy there is actually my spring coat but in the morning it's still really cool so I wear my winter coat and it is so windy today. I thought we were going to blow away. It is like so so windy. Okay. Well, hey guys. I'm having a tomato. Good stuff. So, it is Monday afternoon. Aubrey just got home from school. I got a jaguindus mess in my home. Monday is the day that I feel like I tackle my home. I kind of get it all back in order. However, Today I haven't really felt like it. Not that I don't want it clean, it's just that I have been kind of mentally other places. Sheen has a meeting tonight, so oh my goodness. I'm so not good at it. Did I put you down here? No. Okay. Shane has a meeting tonight, so um, I'm just gonna clean tonight when he's gone. Uh, bit by bit we'll put things away, but we do want to run out to the store. First of all, my laundry room is an absolute mess. It is spring, <laughs> and there is a lot of mud. And with all of our dogs who come in and out of our laundry room, it is very muddy. So, <sighs> my kids are being crazy. So, we are going to go to the store and we are going to get a mat for the... Uh, door with the door that goes outside but also goes into the laundry room. Does that make sense? So we're gonna go get that and then I think we're gonna stop at the health food store because it's right in that same plaza. Um, Colt needs toothpaste and there's a couple things that I want to look at and maybe pick up. So we are gonna do that. The kids are gonna have a snack. I am going to change my clothes and we're gonna get ready and go. And then here is my daily page uh, for today. So I have not done much on this list. Um, hubby has a meeting. I made a shopping list for the week of just things that I want to pick up. It is my cleaning day for the living room. So I have to deep clean that. Um, and I wanted to just kind of spritz the windows. Um, I, I, did, I do this every week. Like I spritz the windows every week if they're dirty I always make a point to look um, and so I may not have to wash them because uh, like I said I do them every week um the entrance way so let's show you the entrance way how's this for some real life non-perfection moments I have had this Jaguindus 50,000 BTU heater in my entrance way forever my husband I think he runs like a used shoe factory he's got so many boots back here and Aubrey just left her bag there. And then this is a bag that I brought in from the truck today. It's just kind of all the stuff that needs to be hoed out of there with my coat. Oh my gosh. 
and snowsuit that needs to be put away. It's just chaos. So anyways, I need to do the entranceway and vacuum it um, and mop. I'm not getting down on my hands and knees and mopping. I am just going to spot mop. Um, and then for laundry, I Monday I always do my laundry and Shane's laundry, me and my hubby. And then we also need to do some towels. <clears throat> I've kind of put out, you know, um, dinner and water intake and just all of that jazz. So anyways, that is what my day looks like. And then I do have, that's not all, I didn't put it in right had weekly horizontal pages. I don't know what I've done with them. They're somewhere. My planner was all a mess and I kind of, I'm just trying to clean it up. So, um, clean everything up. Anyways, I'm going to, once this is like fully set up, I'm going to do like a little walkthrough of my planner, but that is not today, but I thought I would give you a sneak peek. Um, so yeah, that's what's going down here. We're going to get ready and we're going to go off to the store because it is, 3.30 and I'll have to come home and make dinner soon. Dinner's fast. We're having coleslaw and we're having pork chops. Um, and I'm cooking the pork chops from Frozen. Um, I did that the last time I made pork chops and I'll probably pull them out of the freezer before we leave actually. But I cooked them from pretty much almost frozen and they turned out beautifully. Like, it wasn't that big of a deal. So, Anyways, don't be afraid to, to do that every once in a while. <sighs> okay, so. Some brows, girl. Okay. Well, hey guys. Uh, it's Saturday. We are going right now to go take the kids to go see Land Before Time at the theater. Our movie theater does... Um, movies for like family movies on the weekends and Colt is obsessed with Land Before Time like obsessed um and so we're gonna uh take them to go see it grandma's gonna meet us there I'm just putting on my socks <laughs> everyone's outside already um so this is like the first time that we are getting to do something special for Colt where he actually kind of understands um he just turned three in January uh, so he's still pretty little um, and so this is just a cool cool mom moment and I need to find some shoes and get out the door <laughs> um, anyway so that is what we are up to today uh, Shane is home he was supposed to work this weekend but tragically um, there was a workplace accident and someone died um, so there's like a mandatory shutdown until Tuesday while they do an investigation. So it's a terrible reason that he's home. Um, so kind of brings like a little bit of a damper to the excitement of a fun weekend with dad. But, um, you know, it was just pretty heartbreaking. We didn't know him. Um, I don't even think he worked where my husband does. But just as part of the company, they have a mandatory shutdown. So, but... Anyway, so I gotta get my boots on. I gotta get out of here. It's gonna be a fun day. So it's Sunday morning and Aubrey brought me her calendar because she wanted to know what day it was. It's Palm Sunday. And I just wanted to share with you her calendar. So this is a painting. Um, I'll show you a couple more. But these are all painted by artists who uh, use their mouth and who use their foot to hold the brush. Oh, I love that one. Um, what day? That's June. Oh. July. 
Anyways, I just, I find it fascinating. I mean, I couldn't even do this August. with my, my hands. And they're using their feet and their mouths to paint. It's just September. absolutely incredible. October. Oh, it's pretty. So, anyways, I'll show you the artists really quick. Where did they go? Where did they go? Where are they? Um, let me find them. Uh, oh, there they are. So these are the artists. And Aubrey got this calendar from her great grandma for Christmas. She loves it. So. <laughs> 